Yeah, Paul, in this 31-page opinion by the Oklahoma Supreme Court, they said it didn't matter if you call this bill a tax or a fee. Its sole purpose was to raise revenue for state government and that it violated the state constitution. Increasing the price point of cigarettes is the single most effective strategy to reduce cigarette consumption. With the exception of banning cigarettes altogether, the state argued raising the $1.50 fee on a pack of cigarettes was designed to prevent people from smoking, saving 18,000 people a year. That fee would have also generated more than $200 million for the state. The wholesaler is on the hook for the money, regardless of whether they collect it from the consumer. It seems to me that that signals that what the state is concerned with is getting its money. It doesn't particularly care from whom. But in this Supreme Court opinion, Justice Patrick Wyrick ruled in favor of the plaintiffs, saying the state violated the law. Even go as far as calling Senate Bill 845 a sin tax, saying only a tiny fraction of the revenues are to be appropriated to a fund used for smoking cessation efforts, with the remainder being directed to a fund that will be used by various health-related state agencies to fund their general operations. Not only was the, was the legislation a waste of taxpayer dollars, but the fight all the way to the Supreme Court uh, turned out to be a waste as well. And we have lawmakers with some very strong opinions about the Supreme Court's ruling and Governor Mary Fallon also speaking out today saying the only solution around this is for lawmakers to be back here for a special session. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Brett Boganski, KOCO 5 News.